what's up guys welcome back to another video and today I am going to be showing you guys how to connect <clears throat> your Wii remote to Dolphin so To start off, you want to make sure that your Wii is turned off, because if not, then uh, your Wii remote will attempt to connect to that instead. Okay, so let me minimize OBS. All right, so we're gonna open up Dolphin. And there's a few things that you want to change before everything will work smoothly. The uh, the old method of connecting your remote no longer works, at least not uh, on Windows 11. So what you got to do is you got to go to the controller and you want to make sure it's set for real controller not a simulated controller and then uh you want to click what it says enable uh enable speaker data because as you know that the seeker I mean the Wii remote has uh, a speaker on it and it does send uh sound to it depending on what game you're playing and then you want to actually turn on this last option down here where it says uh, continuous scanning. And basically what that's going to do is it's going to continuously scan to look for a Wii remote controller. So what you're going to do now, we're going to close this out. Is you're going to press the one and the two button at the same time. And it should go into pang mode and you should see it flashing. And when it's, when it's found it, it'll vibrate and then it'll connect it to player one. And that's pretty much it. And the cool thing is, if you turn your Wii on and you have your sensor bar, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my Wii. And you turn on your, uh, you, you make sure your, your sensor bar is plugged in. You can do this. Let's see. Got to find it. Uh... All right, here we go. You can do this. The TV is a bit loud, so I do apologize for that. And you can actually use the sensor bar, even though it's not connected to your computer. You can actually use the sensor bar to move
<laughs> I haven't seen that screen in a while. Now, let's see. Um, what else is there? I think that's it. So, let's see. Let me close this out real quick. And we will go to Mario and Sonic at the Olympic, uh, at the London 2020 Olympic Games, I think. 20, no, not 2020. I forget what year it is. Here we go! On your mark, get set. We'll go to Mario, uh, New Super Mario Bros. Wii. And this one, you gotta use the controller sideways like this. <laughs> Even the shake, shake thing works. 
like uh accessories like the nunchuck it will work just fine and if you notice I didn't have to I didn't have to map anything to the controller like I didn't have to map the buttons or anything like that it just worked now when you are done playing because I'm not sure if it actually will turn off after a while uh, what I recommend you do is to um, uh just kind of just take out the battery for a second let it turn off and then you can stick it back in just like that and now the controller is turned off so yeah that's pretty much it and you don't even need a dolphin bar Although it is useful to have, especially if you don't have a Wii, but you have a Wii uh, controller for whatever reason. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, hopefully this helped you out. If it did, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that little bell so you never miss another tutorial. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.